Matt Taylor, who's just informed me that I'm out for the next two weeks, so very happy with him. Matt, uh, you've had a long association with Nottingham Rugby. Uh, could you just go through uh, that association and uh, what you do for the club? Sure. We, um, we, uh, we, we came on to the club in 2005. Uh, we've been the physios uh, with the club since then. Uh, Simon Beetham brought us in and um, we've, we've helped the club go from strength to strength, I think. Uh, we've certainly tried to increase the links with the consultants in the area. We've, we're on time with the players. We try and get the players fit and healthy as quick as we can. And um, it's, it's challenging work, yeah. Thanks very much. Okay, we're here with Director of Rugby, Glenn Delaney. Some say best promoter in the league. I say definitely top three. Glenn, it's been an up and down week. Let's start with the uh, the good stuff first. Last week against Mosley, five point Sunday. Yeah, really pleased with uh, with the game. Some of the best tries I think we've scored for a long, long time. And um, we're starting to see a lot of stuff coming off the training park, um, which is nice. And you know, to be fair, when you've got uh, devastating runners in the, in the game that are, that are active in creating sort of opportunities and people are following through following them through space, then it's pretty good to watch. So um, we were pleased with that. And uh, Cesar Sempere brought half of the uh, Spanish female population down to play. He's really settling in well, isn't he? He is, yeah. He seems to have got a bit of a cult following around him. And uh, I guess uh, he's, he's building a fan base, which is something the club is very desperate for. And it's, uh, it's, it's a nice surprise that that fan base has come from a little bit offshore. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take the fans at this stage. If he's going to bring 30 people every week, I'll be delighted. And speaking of devastated runners, Sione Calamafano has been pretty instrumental over the last few weeks. Pretty disappointing that uh, he received a five-week ban uh, this week. Yeah, we're really disappointed for him. He's very upset. Um, you know, the, the evidence was, was effectively inconclusive, so the panel just made a judgment decision. Um, and their view on the balance of probability was something has happened. Um, so it's a real shame, but you know, we, we take it on the chin. We're looking at the options at the moment, whether there's, uh, there's an appeal worthwhile. Um, we're just very, very upset for him because you know, he plays the game hard, he plays the game incredibly fair, he's a, he's a gentle giant and uh, unfortunately um, there's been a very bad accident which uh, I think has weighed on the mind of the, uh, of the panel. So you know, we wish, uh, wish Johnny Hitt with obviously all the, all the speed of recovery and we believe he's back playing this week, but um, you know, at this stage uh, you know, we're obviously uh, very upset that Sione's going to be missing for a few weeks. Yep, certainly going to miss Big Mike out on the field. Moving forward, uh, we head down to Bristol. I uh, haven't I'm won there for quite a few years. Uh, they've not had the best start to the season, but always a tough game. Yeah, they are, and, and they're still a fantastic side with great players. And, you know, Nicky Little playing at 10, still a premiership quality calibre player. Uh, Roy Winters in the engine room. Uh, looks like we're going to miss the great Dan Montague, which is a shame for us. Uh, uh, a former hero of these parts, now of, uh, now of the southern parish of Bristol. Um, but Dan is, uh, is, is injured at this point in time, but um, has been playing incredibly well for them. But, uh, you know, playing at the Memorial Ground is not somewhere we've won before. We lost down there heavily last year, so we're looking to try and get a bit of on-the-road form going as well. And a few different uh, team selections this week, a couple of key guys uh, on the bench just trying to keep guys fresh. Is that the policy this year? Yeah, we've got a lot of guys who can cover in, in positions and uh, you know, there are all positions up for grabs and, and we've made that policy as a coaching team that every, everyone is going to get their opportunity to play. So you know, it's a great chance for us to give uh, guys an opportunity and uh, there are guys back from fitness. Um, there are guys who are out with a, with a couple of niggles. So we're in that fortunate position that we can uh, roll and rotate a little bit. Great. And just before you name the team, Glenn, uh, this week we, uh, we shot the n Naked Calendar, some guys featuring more than others. Heavy rumours you and Simon Beetham are actually in uh, one of the months. Uh, any truth to the rumour and what pose would you prefer? Well, we're actually in the, uh, in the 15th month of the year, which is, uh, sort of tells you exactly uh, the, the level that we, uh, we have in terms of the physicality we can offer that sort of process. Um, it's not really something that we get too heavily involved in for, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, we tend to like our carbohydrates probably a bit more than the players, but uh, um, it is obviously a very exciting time uh, down in the department. A lot of guys walking around, fairly free to air. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of guys sort of showing off maybe a bit too much uh, from time to time. Um, I'm sure it'll be something for the ladies. Certainly, the shots I've seen have suggested that it sh you should buy it if you're that way inclined. Um, for me, I'll, I'll probably stick to the uh, to the other calendar, which which hopefully shows a, a darker, moodier side of the uh, of the club. Great. And if you could just name for the team this weekend, Glenn. Uh, yes, uh, going from the, uh, the front, Tom French uh, at Loosehead, Tommy Young's at uh, Hooker, Nick Adams at Tight, uh, in the engine room, uh, Dan Hemingway and Ian Kinch, uh, back row of Johnny Beard, um, Luke Sheriff at 7 to captain the side, and Alex Shaw at 8, uh, Charlie Davis at 9, uh, James Arledge at 10, uh, midfield of Steve Hamilton and Tim Strether, uh, backfield of, uh, of David Jackson, Cesar Semperi at the back, and uh, Andy Savage on the right wing. Great, see you at the game Sunday. Yeah, oh, well, not you, Tim, because obviously um, not available this week thanks to Matt Taylor ruling you out. So, uh, again, thanks from me for that, uh, Matt Taylor. Well, yeah, but at least you'll have someone of world-class calibre running the uh, water. Yeah, the message system, I think, is, is one of the big, uh, the big benefits of having you not in the match day 22. Um, <laughs> some of the, uh, the chat coming back is, uh, is priceless. Thanks, Glenn.
Tom Young's hooker. Ian Kench, second row. Johnny Baird, back row. Luke Sheriff, open side flanker. Alex Shaw, back row. James Arledge, fly half. Andy Savage, wing. Tim Strether, centre or wing. Cesar Sempere, fullback. 